we're back. Sorry about that, we're guys. We're back. Woo! <laughs> I don't remember what the fuck we were talking about? Yeah. Oh, actually, since uh, we did have a break in the flow, someone in chat brought up something for us to talk about. Okay. Um, apparently, our thoughts on Advanced Warfare and BO3, which I'm assuming is Black Ops 3, the new game that might be here. So I'm the possibility of Black Ops 3. Basically, Call of Duty. Okay. All right. All right. Which is something right. me and Palmer have played, so we can battle off about that for a minute. Yeah, I, 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 I personally really loved Advanced Warfare. Uh... And this, I, it's coming from somebody who uh, was less than impressed with the last couple of games. Uh, I personally really liked it. I thought the campaign was great. Uh, the multiplayer was was a lot of fun. Uh, it seemed a lot more streamlined, and uh, the the jetpack boosting was just just what that game needed, I think, to kind of get back on track. Uh, it just felt more fast paced, more rapid, more uh, easy to access the action, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I uh, played around briefly with the zombie multiplayer with uh, with Tim, yeah. and uh, I don't know. I would that's something I would like to jump back into. Um, I'd be I'd be willing to give that another shot. I uh, for the zombies, just for the zombies, <laughs> just for the zombies. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a great game. I can't remember what I reviewed that as actually. Hold on, let me check. Something probably way higher than it should have been. I think I gave it a nine. Oh my god. <laughs> Tim obviously did disagree. I, I honestly don't really have any qualms with the game. Well, I, I don't think it was a bad... I don't think Call of Duty Advanced Warfare <coughs> Excuse was me. a bad game, but I don't think Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was a great game. I think it was a good game. It's entertaining, it was fun. Not really for me. I really love Titanfall. So, But that, Kevin Spacey? Ke yeah, Kevin Spacey and his Kevin stupid Spacey. jaw, lifeless, dead, dull eyes. I just, <laughs> didn't really appeal to me. Whatever, dude. I got, I got a few hours into the campaign, I love and I was just like, this is dumb. <laughs> but the, the, the little bit of zombies me and Palmer played, that, that's something I will always love with the Call of Duty series. So I will definitely, maybe we'll stream that at some point, doing some zombies and whatnot. Because yeah, back in the day, I that actually was fun. Like to. I, I, I know I played like zombies to, yeah. with both of you on different Call of Duties at any given point. Yeah, I know we we definitely played it in World of War. World of War, and then Black Ops. I think we yeah, ended up on that for a minute. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. But yeah, I don't know. I've always enjoyed that. Well, nah, I I I definitely hopped off the bandwagon for that series for a couple of them. They need to but... go back to World War Two. I don't Why, think they like ruin fucking World at War by releasing a sequel to that. Is that what you want, Jose? Is that what you're asking for? Sure. COD Two was the best in the series. Really, I thought the Co I thought COD Period. Two and then fucking uh, was the most annoying in terms of multiplayer, uh, aside from Black Ops, because there were just too many perks, there were too many kill streaks, there were just there were some of them that were just ridiculously OP. Uh, I like uh, Black Ops a lot. That was, that was the last Call of Duty game. I really loved. <laughs> Right, what are you saying? Are you criticizing oh, whether or not I was good at the game? I'm not. No, no, I'm not no, good at Call of Duty at all. The, the only time you ever see all the crazy, <clears throat> awesome perks or weapons or whatever is if you gain all those points by leveling up your character, right? Yeah. That's how you unlock weapons. I was shit at that game. I've been shit. I'll always be shit at that game. All I use is like the M16 or whatever the equivalent <laughs> is because I can't fucking gain enough like levels. It's <laughs> annoying that they do, they just don't have all that crap you know unlocked already. I don't want to prestige saying. 12 times so I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to come up at some point. <coughs> oh, man. Jose That's funny. Jelly of our sick, nasty no scopes. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I really wasn't that good. Check out I was my like, I, I think my montage. KDA was probably like in the low twos, man. Like, if that, probably like 1.9, something like that. I was never very good at any of the Call of Duty games. Just, I do enjoy playing them, though. They're great. At least in terms of multiplayer. Anyways, what else we got in the Steam news? Uh, more Steam stuff. Um, games that were on Games for Windows Live and then said to be transferred over to Steamworks like a year ago or last summer, I think, are finally happening. Dead Rising 2 and Off the Record. I don't. I think they were supposed to be transferred over to Steamworks by now. I haven't actually checked, but if they aren't right this second, then they are soon to be, which is... I, I wish that uh, more Games for Windows Live games would do that. Red Faction did it. Red Faction Guerrilla, more specifically. Uh, but I wish games like Fallout 3 would transfer over to Steamworks and games like fucking, uh, I don't know, Kanan, well, not Kanan Lynch. 
I'm just grasping at straws here. But there's a lot of decent. Would you still have to play Kane and Lynch too, like co-op? That oh, has yeah, to happen. <laughs> Dawn of War. That's what I was thinking of. Dawn of War Two is <coughs> Windows Live, and that mm -hmm. transferred over to Steamworks. But I, I like that the games are doing that, just because you know, all hail Steam. But on that note. Uh, an interesting article came out recently where Valve got a F in customer service from the Better <laughs> Business Bureau. I love they acknowledge it, and they're just like, yeah, we suck. Uh, We're going to try to do better. That, that's basically that's the entirety of it. I'm just The whole point of that little thing was just that I'm glad that Valve are like admitting that they're shit, and they're going to try to do something about it, because right now their customer service is just fucking dicks. Yeah. Like, it's all the dicks. It's pretty awful. Um, Giant bag of dicks. Granted, I can't think of a single instance when I've actually needed their customer service. Actually, yeah, it's that, very rare. I that's, will say that. that's not true. I lost my first. I had to make another Steam account. I lost my first Steam account like back from like the 1.6 like you know days of Counter Strike and stuff. And I had a whole bunch of games on that. Granted, not nearly the library that I have now. But I still, I still refuse to buy Day of Defeat because I lost it on my old account. I will not buy that game again. Fuck the mod or the source game? I'm guessing both, the source game. Both. It was fun as shit. I, I refuse to buy it again. I will not so do it. So we got an F from this. What's it called? The Better Business Bureau. Dude, that's a non-entity. No, I, I completely it, it is it is, up. but it I, I totally get what you're saying. Like it's not a government thing, but like it's it's a well respected uh, you know. Fuck the better business people. The point is Valve is a <coughs> customer service. Yeah, but like, they, like they always have been. on eBay. No, they've never come out and said, like, yes, we're shit, and that's what they've done. So uh, I'm just I'm, wait, I'm pretty what, sure they have. What non article are you reading? That they admitted all cool things from the internet and put them into my mind. Yeah. Like Shadowrun. My Shadow Oh runner. no, you're right. There is something that they did acknowledge. Yeah. And yeah. you have to do better. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. We're, we're, yeah. They didn't even they really say that, that they're sorry. They were like, We're just gonna do better. <laughs> Here's a half assed apology. I got I got it like in a that's, I, that, that I, represents I their customer a... service to a T. <laughs> Completely missing the point, like just derailing it, and oh man, that's great! I remember I couldn't use the the chat, like the in-game uh, mic chat, for the longest time, and I was like getting to the point where, like, because um, I didn't use Skype at the time, and I couldn't like chat with like our friends on team, and I was like, I've got to do something about it. So I called up, or I, I started texting someone from support, and they didn't believe me. And I told him, you know, like, do whatever it takes, you know, take over my computer, whatever, you know, like, fucking see what you can do. And, like, they, they called me, like, a liar. They, like, refused to acknowledge that that was a bug because no one's ever reported on him. Like, it's happened to me, asshole. Like, I don't know what to do. It got pretty heated. They <laughs> called me a liar. And, like, they didn't believe me. He's like, bold happen. face, straight up said, you're a liar. <laughs> you're a fucking liar. <laughs> you goddamn liar. Oh, like, it was, like, it was pissing me off. And that, <laughs> pretty hard to do yeah that's i mean, honestly i would get really pissed at that point <laughs> i uh, you know I, I can definitely understand but it's all yeah, maybe they do the bottom way. line <clears throat> all right uh let's let's get out of steam for half of actually no one last thing while we're still on steam game on steam free to play game by the name of hawken which was a mech fighting game that was around before titanfall came out it's Pretty fun, but it hasn't seen an update in almost a year. However, the devs are finally saying, hey, we're releasing a big update in the coming month or so. Okay. But I was I didn't realize that Hawken is still in fucking early access. I thought the game came out about a year ago. Didn't it? I thought it did. Yeah, that's it's I thought it came out, but no, it never <laughs> left early access. It's still in beta. I will say for a beta, it's it's relatively it's pretty stable as far as betas go but i there's I was no just really there's surprised. no way it's still in early access Are i was you? really surprised to find that out like i could have swore it launched last april or thereabouts but no it's just still in early access it is anyway holy shit it is it's finally getting a big update was, and was hawken crowdfunded don't know i got to, i got Not into the album anything. for it like uh in 2012 that game's gotten, like, reviews. It's got a Metacritic score, and it's still in fucking early access. Yep. Well, I mean, honestly. I mean, that game is out. Like, 
Apparently not. It's very... Is that their excuse? Is that why they're saying they haven't done anything? Well, no, they just they haven't updated it in like a year, and people were starting to be like, "Well, I guess it's so, done." But no, they're they finally reached out. Dude, like we're doing. Hawkins a... got Mech Warrior Max. Yeah, Hawkins, yeah. Hawkins actually. Have you not fun. played? Have you not played it? It's it's, it, no, it's hard. It's hard mode is fun. Yeah, the co-op mode's really fun. There's no bullshit we can put up with the uh, and normal team deathmatch and whatnot. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun game. But it's finally getting an update, so maybe it's it's still got a small, but it's got a steady player base. So maybe it'll bre- breathe some new life into that game, which I would like. I would like that game to see a fucking full release because I think it's actually fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah Oculus yeah. Rift support. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> it's a, this game is awesome. Why aren't people playing? It? <laughs> because it hasn't gotten an update in about a year. <clears throat> it has uh, been a while since we last got on that game. Yeah, I've. I can I can tell you in two seconds. I have that game installed, but I haven't launched it in fucking. I don't know. Apparently, I played. There's a the Mech Squirts. Warrior online. What the crap? Yeah, that's the thing. You just I, I forget sometimes that you just live under a rock, and do rock things. All right, let's keep this fucking pain train going. <laughs> New Homefront game. Yes! <laughs> Got pushback. Uh, Not even No real surprise there. Kind of ironic, though, um, because it was originally coming out in 2014 from THQ. Mm-hmm. They shut down. And who picked it up? Uh, Crytek picked it up. Yeah. And they were gonna launch <laughs> now it Crytek is fucked. <laughs> they were going to launch in 2015, then they fucking, then they got <clears throat> fucked, and they offloaded it to current developer Deep Silver, which is... Fucking Dead Rising, mm, Saints Row guys, unless I'm mistaken. Saints, Saints Row and Dead Island. Dead Island, that's what I meant to say, yes. Although yeah. although they just published Dead Island, they didn't develop it. Yeah, well, it's it's a decent name, so, you know, that's my point. Yeah, no, 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 totally, totally trust them. Their reasoning was t- to push the game back was so that they would accomplish a best-selling title. They don't care about not, you know, a functioning game or fucking product testing it's just a best-selling title we're gonna put all the mountain dew and doritos in here but yeah. i don't mind it I, i'm looking forward to it i thought Homefront was horribly underrated so i wouldn't mind giving a sequel a go yeah yeah i'm really excited about it actually i i, I sound all, all the uh all the screenshots and gameplay videos that i've seen of it have been pretty on point so far. That game is going to be really, really fucking gory. <laughs> like oh, the whole, first game was fucking. Whole, holy shit! Yeah, no, this one's gonna, be, this one's gonna be the same, like just along those lines, man. And graphically, it does look very impressive. I'm, I'm really excited for it. It looks good. Like within the first three minutes of booting up uh, the Homefront campaign, you witness like a family huddled together, like just crying. And then this just kid's executed. parents just get executed in yeah. front of him, and he runs up and like clings to their dead bodies, and you're just like, "All right, it's gonna be one of those games." Yeah, that's it's, that's a fucking remember, no Russian, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no Russian has been topped multiple times. <laughs> Do you remember how much controversy there was when that thing first came yeah, out? Yeah, that was that was a. Jeez it's kind of funny to look back at that and some of the shit that's like Homefront spec ops, just some of the shit that's come out after that. Yeah, it was bizarro, man. The Mountain Dew flavors are exciting. Chat, you are correct. <laughs> I'm all about that core red. Yeah, man. Um, let's go to my last bit of notes here um, before we get on to more news-oriented stuff. New StarCraft II mod by the name of Sonic Warfare Total Destruction came out. <clears throat> and what it is is it's basically a third-person shooter in StarCraft II. Yeah, you played it. Tell, tell me I about it. it. I'm super-duper excited to try that out. It's fucking awesome. <clears throat> It's a third-person shooter inside of StarCraft, and it is insane. You like gore, do- dog. I heard you like gore. This fucking... This shit will break your computer. There's so much gore and fire going on. Like, there are literally points when you're playing that thing where, like, a bombing run will come in, and it's just your screen is just filled with blood and fire, and your computer, like, despite its numerous processors, can't fucking keep up. <laughs> it's just hilariously awesome. It's just... It's basically, like, old-school Gears of War 2 horde mode, but with fucking spasmarins. So there's pretty much not much not much else to say. It's actually pretty in depth. Like when you fire it up, there's like a fucking tutorial you have to go through. There's five different classes you can pick from. Some of them are unlockable. Like it's it's pretty fucking in depth, and uh, it kind of just makes me weep that the idea that they never actually made Ghost because it it just kind of shows you kind of what could have been maybe. 
Yeah, yeah. Ghost, man, so many people were looking forward to that. <clears throat> but if you are, if you have StarCraft Two, actually, I, you can play it with the free with the uh, yeah. As long as pass. as long as somebody owns the game, you're playing with yeah. somebody who owns the game. You can you can actually still play that game. What uh, what makes this particular <clears throat> mod or because it's, the, it's the first one that's been like that... over the shoulder camera, like totally completely a third yeah, person shooter. It's, it's, it's not it's an over. The... But haven't they done even cooler things like first person, like within a first month of like. The release of StarCraft 2? No, not mm, first person. Not that I've yeah, I, played. I remember seeing like Warcraft 2, like people on YouTube, like the, uh, like the pro players playing random mods of like first person fucking Baneling horde modes. Might have, I, but not, absolutely. It, it might have existed, but not to the extent of this. Like it not, it's not as polished as this mod. Like I can, I'm sure I've seen, you know, video clips of shitty like 10 second fucking scenes in StarCraft 2 or even WarCraft 3. In like a first person or third person perspective, but I mean, nothing is well thought out and well just polished as this fucking thing. Like it's basically a full on game. But anyway, the mod is titled Sonic Warfare Total Destruction. If you have StarCraft Two, I would highly recommend change, checking that out. Only if only just because it's just such a different change of pace for that game. But there are so many mods on there now that I didn't know existed that I really want to hop into. Like there's Halo mods. There's fucking uh, ah oh, fuck. We need to we need to live stream that at some point too. Yeah, but there's just a lot of fun <coughs> mods in that game. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh, let's move on to Smite, which is now a year old or came out. Yeah, man. Officially launched a year ago. We hopped back on that for the first time in forever. Yeah, you're, last you're night. getting you get. I got, I personally got back into that a few months ago, but you're finally coming around and getting back into it. I want to try to get Jose into it too. But that uh, game's a lot of fun. Yeah, I just. It's 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 an interesting change of pace from the uh, over the top perspective of Dota, to be third person, more action oriented. You were talking about a sale or something, right? Or did you just mention that? Uh, both. Um, yeah, it's like nineteen ninety nine so, for all the heroes right now, something like yeah. that. That's a pretty goddamn good price for that game. Yeah. <clears throat> um, for the next two days, you can get all the heroes and future heroes, which is nice. For Smite for uh, twenty bucks, and all the pre-launch, sorry, all the pre-launch skins are on sale. And it's just a big event thing. They've got a couple different game modes going on. Where like, uh, I think it's basically just the standard conquest, but you can only draft random heroes from uh, pre-launch and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Smite's pretty good with uh, keeping its community active and entertained, and I don't know. It's just a fun game. It's a developer I don't mind supporting. They do uh, free to play the right way, so. I'm on the bus. Yeah, man, absolutely. That game's that game is a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's just different enough to be a different, you know, a change of pace compared to it's all the MOBA mechanics are there, but just the over the shoulder perspective and and focusing so heavily on skill shots is is a lot of fun. It makes you constant. Your head is constantly in the action. It's great. My favorite <clears throat> aspect of it is that it's all like are like it's fucking you know. Old gods, you know, Greek, Norse, Mayan, fucking all over the world. I can't fucking really? myths and Even legends. Incans? Incan, oh yeah, Even I'm totally. Incan gods? Can't tell them there are no Incan here. gods, Tim. No, oh, sure there are. There's like a rain god and like a fucking... No, I mean in Smite. Fuck that game. Smite. Yeah, yeah, there are, actually. Oh, I know, sure. maybe it's all Mayan. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Mayan. Whatever, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's not at all Get off your fucking thing. high horse. <laughs> Your dead civilizations and your uh, bullshit. Uh, your we hippie. made it to space, I think. That's why we're not Shut on the space. The you're, on the, you're on the other side of the moon. <laughs> They're planning their counterattack from the dark side of the moon. God, how fucking Ludicrous. fantastic would that be? That would be pretty awesome. From fucking space Incans from the other side of the moon. <laughs> and for wooden ships. Oh, God. They're all just on the dark side of the moon that we can't see. Exactly. <coughs> Waiting for us to make contact with them. Uh, let's see. Another free-to-play news. <sighs> Dirty Bomb. The beta for that is going live tomorrow. And when I say the beta for Dirty Bomb is going live, I mean the closed beta is going to be ongoing from now on. In the past, they've only had it go live for like a weekend to test out the servers and this and that. And now it's at the point where they're like, all right, we're just going to keep it up for good. And uh, they've claimed that they're done making wipes. 
So whatever loots or anything you earn from this point forth, you will actually be able to keep on your account, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that game looks like a hell of a lot of fun. Um, it's it's like a weird combination of Brink and Team Fortress, if I had to kind of just pick two games to kind of choose from. <clears throat> it's it's definitely fun. I don't think it's something that's going to be eating up like ginormous amounts of my time, but it's something I can see getting a few friends together and playing here and there, which is nice. It's like definitely Monday Night Combat. Play. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does have a Monday Night Combat look to it. Fuck, I, ah, why did that game fail? That game was fun. Monday Night Combat? You never remember Monday Night Combat? It was a Super Monday Night Combat on 360 and like 2012. It was a thing on Steam for a while. I think it's still on Steam, just no one plays it. It's a MOBA. It's a third person mm. MOBA. Mm. It's kind of it's it's fucky in the best kind of way, basically. Mm. Chat yeah. saying Aztecs all the way, by the way, Jose, they're on your side. Nah, nah. Or I guess against you. Uh, <laughs> Alienate the viewers, Jose. I like I like your angle. I like I'm kidding. Lot. He's not kidding, boys. He hates you. <laughs> Deep seated Peruvian hate. Oh man, that's funny. Um so yeah, Dirty Bomb will be fun. Look forward to that. And Warframe got a big update recently. They they get big updates every few months. The devs are pretty good with that. They are with this update they have incorporated what they put as PvP two point which I'm sure just has Palmer's nipples all tingly basically just new maps new varieties of modes and whatnot mm -hmm. but the thing that interests me is um warframe has always been a four-player co-op but in this in this new update they're implementing eight-player co-op so you can now have eight space ninjas running around fucking shit up which sounds pretty cool honestly I, i'm i'll be i'll be sure i'll be sure to check that out at some point soon just to see what the hell the game feels like with eight players because it's for so long it's been four players and it's kind of been designed around that so I'm kind of curious to see like how the devs handle eight players, if it's new maps, or if they just add new enemies, or what the fuck. Hmm. Well put, gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't there another eight player, recent eight-player game you're, you're crying about, Tim? Recent eight-player game? No. Yeah, it was, it's... It's a game where you fight hell aliens, and like bosses pop up randomly. Hell aliens and bosses pop up randomly. Yeah. And PV, PVE recently was added. Eight player or something. Nether? That's oh. awesome. uh, That was more than just, eight people, though. Yeah, that's, that's like 50. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Nether. <laughs> broken by hackers. I wish it wasn't. Uh, God damn it. They implemented PVE servers, but I'd get to hop on it. But <clears throat> really hope someone does some kind of fucking something with that game. It's it's never gonna happen. That game shut never the fuck that up. game is never coming out of early access. Donnie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Moving <laughs> on. Payday two devs promise two more years of support, which that's cool, but that also means two more years of DLC. I will say, however, um in the past week or two, Payday has been going through what they've dubbed as their spring break event. They've been adding characters, guns, DLC. They finally added the Huxton breakout heist, which I've been looking forward to, but haven't actually played yet. But, uh, yeah. Is that why, as, is that why Corbin's been back yeah, that's on why, Payday yeah, like 24 7? That's why me and Corbin pop back on it. As <laughs> much as I don't like the idea of fucking shelling out monthly, fucking shelling out for monthly DLC yeah, I was for that say, game. Didn't you just shit all over that? Oh, like I a shit all weeks ago. over that fucking game. <laughs> and as much as I hate that, they every now and then they do these free content updates where they're like, here, have a lesbian prisoner woman character and have a fucking heist. And now you can drive cars in that game. There's a car heist where you steal cars and like drive through a subway and it's fucking hilarious. Like, uh, the, the, the devs are pretty good about that type of shit. They, they do add free content from time to time, I guess, to keep the assholes like me clinging on to hope. <laughs> but, uh, it, works, it works out for them, so. But yeah, it's been pretty fun. I've uh, been v having fun with that again, so I guess it worked because they got, you know, old vet like me back on it. And Kerbin yeah. fucking going ham all over that shit again, so. Well, you know. <laughs> Kerbin gonna Kerbin. Kerbin gonna Kerb. I can't wait to get Kerbin on the cast. Oh, God. Have a Kerbin cast. Say, you know what? That black box that we have over there, that's just gonna be Kerbin's that's face. That's gonna be Kerbin's face. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping this layout, boys. That's the Kerbin cam. Oh, uh, Kerbin. You follow us for one thing and one thing only. Let it I'm be just, the Kerbin I'm cam. waiting for him to ch officially change his, his Steam ID to Kerbin. To Kerbin. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> 
All right. Um, one last bit of news that just I fucking like woke up and read this and was just kind of staring at my screen with my coffee, wondering if I was still dreaming or if I like am in my version of hell or what the fuck. But mm. Halo is returning to the PC yep. as a free to play game in Russia. I don't know. Inception noise. Yeah. It's the fact of Halo being a free to play game disgusts me. Russia alone disgusts me. So there's just nothing good about this <laughs> announcement that I like. Look, Jose, you weren't playing Dota in 2013 when Russians were a thing. Like, you don't know, dog. I've been there. Yeah. I've, I've been playing trenches. all Fucking online games forever when Russians and Brazilians were a thing. Regardless, they, they, kicked, they kicked Behemoth out of their country. <laughs> and they said that Cannibal Corpse couldn't tour in Russia, so you know no, fuck that Russia. place. That place is just yeah. No, Cannibal I don't know. Corpse, no, no go. <laughs> yeah, man. I won't go. I won't. I won't go anywhere without Corpse Grinder. <laughs> his, I won't go anywhere without Cannabis Corpse. Fucking neck. <laughs> oh man, that guy. What a dude. What a gentleman. But yeah, that that uh that fucking news bulletin popped up and. uh kind of fucking ruined everyone's day i have to say definitely ruins it ruined palmer's win streak in hearthstone so if it did anything at least it did that yeah uh that's pretty disappointing news i i mean honestly like i don't you seem iffy on the free-to-play aspect of it i could really care less i just want them to release halo 3 multiplayer on pc that's like all i want uh, it's just not big free-to-play fan lately I mean that's that's fine, uh, but it's understandable if that at, at least it's understandable. You if they that much. if they brought back the the like competitive aspects of that and like really balanced out some of some of the maps and like you know went and 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 ca constantly updated weaponry and like added skins and stuff that you could pay and that was all just cosmetic purchases, dude. That would be fucking great. Palmer, it wouldn't be all cosmetic purchases. I mean, all right, allow allow XP boosts and shit, whatever. But like. You know, armor. It'll be maps. It'll be guns. It'll be armor that gives advantages. It's, as it's long as there's, DLC. as long as there's, Answer. yeah, as it's long as DLC. Answer. And Bro. I have no, I have no problem with that. Charge for more maps, but like, you know, have a good base of like 15 free maps that people can play. That is just hoping for way too much, sir. Okay, all right, so make it, make it 10, whatever. Yeah, I could see 10. I could theoretically, I could see 10, maybe, maybe. Paul. And I'd be fine with that. Like, I'd be fine with that. All right, and then charge me, charge me whatever you want for the additional map packs. Like, honestly, just bring back Forge and let the community fucking do it. Like in, in oh. Counter Strike and release community map packs, and just charge. Was for those. Forge in any of the Halos after three? Yeah, wasn't yeah. Because I haven't played any. Hmm. Been in every Halo. Looks up. I don't well, know. Yeah, that it was in. Was it in four? I don't remember yeah, it was it being in four. In four was in Reach. It was. I know it was in Reach. Are you sure it was in four? Yes, I was. Okay. I fucked around with Forge on four. Okay. Forge on fours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced I made the first Helms deep. <laughs> I remember. I remember that three. too. Jeez Louise. Oh man, that takes me back. That map. Anyways, but yeah, I. I what upsets me is that it's Russia only. Like, what the. Fuck. <laughs> Suka. I, mean, I just, you know, why not release that here? Putin is listening. It, why? Listen why are chat. you? Why? <laughs> Who is that? Who's commenting? What are these people's names? Uh, Law Pants. Wow, there's just so much here. Law <laughs> Pants. Law Pants McClawface. I like that name. I like that name a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a statement. That's a bold <laughs> name. This is who I am, world. Fuck yourself. Oh man. How many like people? How many people do we have? Uh, currently three, but we've been bouncing around from like three to I think at one point we got eight. So we have, we have we have viewers right now. So let's not jinx it, you fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, your fuckery. But yeah, ups upsetting that it's Russia only. That's it. That's really the bottom line of that. Hopefully, it'll come to the U.S. All right, and if, if there's something either you two want to bring up, feel free. Otherwise, we can just delve right into the whole madness that is Star Citizen. Uh, well, let's let's take some time to talk about what we've, uh, well, I guess, how about this? Jose and I will talk about what we've been playing, and then you can jump <laughs> in to Star Citizen and just rant for the next uh, hour I'm while I eyes glaze over. Because, uh, honestly, this week and last, I've really played much. Yeah. Jose's been AFK, dogs. Uh, I will add that, uh, if you guys are into visual novels straight up from Japan awesome 
fully translated and want to pay for it, uh, like the most classic or one of the most classic ones, uh, Higurashi, is coming out to Steam through publisher uh, Manga Gamer. I don't know the details, but I, I just Googled or I, I searched visual novel on Steam like I usually do. And I saw, you know, Higurashi <laughs> like I usually do. coming soon. And I was like, whoa, that that's awesome. Well, tell us and about so, uh, this apparently uh, classic visual novel. Is well, it I've the escapade of a teen girl in her, like, getting her period in high school? Or oh, something? my God. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> an awesome, it's an awesome horror. Like, I, I'm only familiar with the anime. Cause, and I've, I've waited forever to play the visual novel or the sound novel. Because uh, there's always been, like, weird translations or weird, or it wouldn't work on my old rig. But now that I can pay for, like, the all-ages version and then get, like, a patch for the awesome uncensored version. Yeah. Wow! Is that, like it's it's a it's a horror <laughs> like visual novel that focuses more on sound and like just the the story than it does like voice acting and like, cutesy characters. It looks very like like the characters aren't like very like like you expect recently like Moe blobs. It's you know kind of like harsh looking. Uh, it's all about the like the audio experience and they're gonna release all the different side stories. Okay. And um, yeah, it's if you if you don't dig visual novels, check this one out. It's going to be awesome because well, even if they tone down the gore and the horror for Steam, it's going to be an experience. What would they need to tone down? Horror, uh, like oh, violence wise, like why? Violence. What what, what, what uh, parts? It's what kind of violence are we very, talking about? Here? It's Japan, man. Have you, have you <laughs> fucking seen anything that comes out of that place? Uh, it's like. I think it's because the characters depicted in it are like maybe like young or something, and they do like gory stuff. Like I think uh, the premise like of the story is I didn't pick that. On, I pick up on. <laughs> gory. Gore. The the premise of the story is like you're you're a dude who goes to like this little rural town, and every year they have this um, like festival. It's like an old Shinto festival for like you know a uh, farming deity or something. And uh, but every year around that time, someone gets murdered, and so the story revolves around you and like your interaction with like these the the young women in town who are like your age mm-hmm. in the same school, and 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 them just going by the anime, um, and then each story arc, um, and I'm guessing each chapter will focus on a different young girl or young woman, depending on which which arc it is, and then how. She's somehow involved with like the weird, creepy, supernatural aspects of the ritual murders during this festival, hmm. and it gets a little psychological in like a shallow Japanese anime way. But it's <laughs> I hear it's I shallow hear it's really and awesome. pedantic, <laughs> and I'm really excited. Like when I when I Google that today. <laughs> well, I was gonna ask you what a. Uh... You, you really fucking dig visual novels. I was gonna ask you why that appeals to you so much, but someone in chat just flat out asked, "What is a visual novel?" And Christ knows you're the fucking person to answer that. So it's it's a it's a, it's it's what it sounds like. It's a visual <laughs> novel. It's a I knew picture he was book. Say that. <laughs> it's a cartoon. It's a uh, if Based you the anime <laughs> art style and you like that in just like static form, and you like playing a game without really interacting with it too much, except picking a few like dialogue options. And just like to stick around for a ride that lasts like thirty to forty hours, you know, usually like that's really this is awesome. Yeah, yeah these are, these are yeah. Long. Some of them are really short. Most of the ones I played. Most of the ones on Steam are kind of short too. Most but, of the ones I played maybe eight ten hours, but yeah, I think the uh, only I've only played one and it was on Vita, and I think that was fourteen hours. Maybe. Well, I just didn't really remember the name of it. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm just thinking of like the. Kind of the big names, the ones that are like super long, uh-huh. but uh, I'd say on average they're as long as like you know a, a short novel, you know, a novella. Like, okay, as long as it would take you to read one, you mean? Right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, they they seem interesting. It would just have to be. I don't know what you're describing as far as like horror content. That that could be very appealing to me. Uh, totally off there's, topic. There's even like sub genres. In like visual novels, games that are <laughs> then it gets really weird niche stuff. There are games where it makes you, uh, it like 
makes you really like heavily in, um, invested in the character and the relationship he has, and then purposely give throw like a curveball that like fucks with your like mind and your emotions and like you know the the hopefully what they're trying to get is you to cry. They're called um, Naku games, Naki games, uh, which is you know you know you, you read a story and then it makes you feel bad inside. That's like the the purpose of reading. Them. <laughs> so so it's a Walking Dead comic. Basically. So what what you're yeah. what you're telling me is that Cormac McCarthy is starting writing. Manga. <laughs> God, the real ad, the visual novel. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, that real, would be, I would I would play the shit out of that though. You, the you ad would, visual novel, Jose. You would totally know what the what the name of it is. I remember a while back reading uh, part of what I later found out was a very long series about a city. Uh, or like maybe maybe it was a small town, but basically like there's there's spirals like everywhere, um, and so, like so, like people go crazy. It drives them absolutely oh, uh, insane. Uzumaki. Yeah, dude. If somebody made a visual novel of that, I'd be all over it. I'd be all over it, dude. That was some That's, fucked uh, up shit. That was some author, fucked up shit. <laughs> it's Junji Ito. Junji Ito. You should definitely check out all of his work. It's amazing. Oh God, that was Mother just. Of God. I remember like being just really, really, really out of it one night, and <laughs> and reading through that, and just like, and, and like I read through like a, a couple chapters of it, um, mm. and I, God, I remember just getting off my computer at like four o'clock in the morning, and being like, what? Like people were just, like growing their nails out, and the spirals inside the nails <laughs> were making people go into like, what the fuck? <laughs> that had some really, really bizarre stuff in it, dude. Somebody put so, their like. Uh, the the guy that wrote that story and a bunch of other awesome like long and short stories uh, or, or mangas, uh, there you know that new Silent Hill game that's coming out. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The one that's being either directed or like Hideo Kojima has some is involved with it in some way. Yeah, he's producing it's, it. It's direct producing it, directed by Guillermo del Toro. Uh -huh. Amazing fucking horror. Uh, right, right, right. I'm on that bus. Um, and uh, Hideo Kojima, uh, I guess during all like the hype for the game when it when like the demo. That came out on PS3 was you know making its rounds on YouTube, mm -hmm, and everyone's mm -hmm. excited about it. He tweeted uh, that he was having lunch with uh, uh, Junji Ito, Junjo Ito, the guy mm -hmm. that made Uzumaki. So like you know, like, is he somehow involved in the new Silent Hill game? Like there was a lot of speculation. There was just added more hype to the game, and so yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited, even if he doesn't if he's not involved. It's, so it's it's called Uzumaki. Uz Uzumaki. Uzumaki. Okay, and so is it? Is it like a collection? Can I find like all like? How long is the series? I guess. Um. So off topic. Fuck it. <laughs> it's, okay, roll with it. Man. It's kind of long. There's probably like twenty chapters. I, I don't remember. I think I've well, only read like. Long time ago. Yeah, I think I've only read like three or four of them. Oh god! But I just there's another really awesome one. Um, the, the mystery of Amagara Falls. Which is it's like there was an earthquake and it split like a, a mountain in half and then there were these weird shaped holes like on the side of the mountain mm -hmm. and people just started going there like instinctually they were like uh, there's something's drawing me to this weird you know like edifice and then uh, people like in the middle of the night would like strip naked and then like jump into these holes that are human shaped that's what it was and like there's and then it focuses on like a dude and like a chick. And like it just like the weird stuff that happens. It's <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to check it out, man. I'll have to check it <laughs> Junji out. Junji Ito. Actually, let me make sure I'm not talking out of my ass. We just assume you always are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I figure you just know what Junji you're talking Ito. about. Junji Ito. Uh, so aside aside from you wanting this visual novel, you haven't really been had a chance to play much of anything this past. I don't know. Week, two weeks, I guess. <laughs> Um, let me think. I, uh, just finished up two reviews. Uh, one is for Cities XXL. Uh, Which I warned you against. And that game was a piece of shit. You drew uh, first blood, man. I warned hey, you. Hey, uh, you know, 
I, you're, you're, like, you're like one of those really i just don't understand like, nah, i'm just showing I, up <laughs> i just i don't understand how they took something that was actually pretty decent and then just like fucked it up and tried to release it again for full price like that makes no sense to me I mean, uh, almost from at that angle it almost sounds like the original game was good which it wasn't it was terrible it wasn't bad it wasn't that bad though there weren't performance issues with it, it there didn't were absolutely fucking, performance issues not with it. not with platinum it didn't, it didn't it have the the biggest performance issue ever like memory leak I they think essentially broke the no, game. There, like there, after there are two different hours, cities right? games, Palmer. The cities XL or cities XXL is a fucking basically a port of cities XL, which was a fucking shit game to begin with. Like it was just, just like the structure. Yeah, dude, I played cities. I, I played city XL Platinum, and that was actually pretty good. Like it wasn't amazing. It didn't do anything innovative, but it was pretty good. Granted, I didn't play that I read, until I, read nothing I didn't. But shitty reports about that game. Personally. I didn't play that until like way, way after the fact. I picked it up in like a bundle somewhere. Um, so I mean, it's possible that like by the time I got my hands on it, like everything was patched. But oh I, yeah, that's entirely possible. I I I had a good experience with it. Uh, so I was expecting at least something decent, you know, especially after all the praise that friggin' Skyline's getting. Um, I warned you, bud. And that that game was just awful. Like Terribly I couldn't believe terrible. it. I, it. There were points. There were points that after my city population got to a certain uh, number, like the frame rate would just drop to it, like single digits, uh, and it was it was awful. And uh, let me think. There was issues like trading resources between cities. There were all these glitches that emerged. Out of, like that, I had three crashes, three <laughs> separate crashes while I played that game. And I tell I mean, it wasn't my computer's fault. I can say that much. Uh, so I don't know. That was that was a that was a stupid experience. Uh, but also by the same developer, uh, I played a game called Ethereum, uh, and it's a new RTS that actually just got released today. Uh, and it's by Focus Home Interactive. This is the same guys who made the horribly shitty XXL. Uh, they did. Make, they have made good games in the past, though. I don't want to shit all over that. Right, 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 right. They're, they're behind the yeah, uh, they Blood suck. Bowl series. They, uh, they um, released this game and uh, Ethereum, and it's very good. It's really, really good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Um, it looks very pretty, like just between like, it, the, the coloring game, and the lighting. It looks it, very nice. The screenshots look a lot better than that game actually does. Um, graphically, it's not. It's not. It, the terrain and the um, you know environments are very very well rendered, but the units and their movements are stiff and um, uh, they're they're lacking. I don't know the the unit textures are awful. Um, but that aside, it takes a bunch of elements from like RTS staples. We're talking you know like um, Company of Heroes and um, Dawn of War and StarCraft and that kind of thing, and it, it takes the best pieces of them and puts them into a game that tries to do something a little bit different. Um, and the way that resource management works, the way that uh, building development and like uh, like going up the the, the 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 tech tree, I guess, to make new units, it's it's very unique. Um, and holding control points in that game matters more than any other RTS I think I've ever played. Uh, and that game, that game was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I said, if you took if you took control points from from Company of Heroes, the the terrain system of like the Dawn of Wars, like the cover system and like how it's constantly dynamic. Um, they it, but and take take that from Dawn of War and then take like the massive scope like of 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 the possibility of wielding massive armies like Starcraft. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, the other really cool thing about it is they they have a weather system in it, uh, which does exist in some other uh, you know real time strategy games, but this one's a little more unique. For instance, uh, there's one map that's a a it's basically just a, a massive molten lava map, uh, and you're playing on this planet that's just just engorged in flame, and so there's there's these points uh, where like magma comes through and totally breaks the terrain. You can't walk across it. Uh, any units that are caught in it will instantly like ca catch on fire and melt. Um, and it happens like randomly in the map, but it's always at like one of like you know five control points or whatever. Um, and uh, 
Yeah, it's 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 awesome. There's another map where it's just a frozen tundra, and you're playing on this on this wasteland frozen planet, and a blizzard comes through uh, <laughs> periodically. And when it does, it freezes sections of the map that you can now walk over. Um, it'll freeze, you know, units that kind of thing. Um, it's really really cool. Um, and there is a race that can actually harness the power of the weather, which is also really fucking cool too. Um, anyways, it, it 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 takes a bunch of stuff from other games doesn't really have a whole lot of original ideas but it, the ways that they're implemented are are fresh they feel good um i don't know that game's great i feel like a lot of people are going to be very surprised if they're willing to give that game a shot and i would expect to hear about that turning into a series uh at least i hope it turns into a series um because like that it does have a lot of potential uh but other than that there have I've just been playing Dota and Smite <laughs> and Hearthstone. I, I I'm back in on Hearthstone. I got a Ragnaros. And a were you, pack that you I were opened. never out of Hearthstone? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? I got a Ragnaros and a pack that I opened, and that was just I was so back in. <laughs> I've been playing so much Hearthstone today. It's stupid. Uh, I can't yeah. blame you. When I I, I got a golden Jaraxxus, now he's in for like a month. What the just, fuck? Like, you have a Jaraxxus? I have a golden Jaraxxus. I want one so bad. I want. I need that. That single-handedly kept me playing that retarded game for like a month. Oh. I just rode that high out until the bitter end. Yeah, man, that's 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 the way it goes down, dude. Uh, but yeah, there's so that that's one of the cards that I've needed for so long. It's it's dumb. So that that got me 100% back in. Um, I will definitely be playing a lot more of that as time goes on. But uh, yeah, Tim, I'll let you. I'll let you take the floor because you've you've got, I guess, what's going to be the meat and potatoes of the rest of this cast. <laughs> well, uh, let's let's kind of do it like an ask me anything because I I got uh, about a week ago I bought a pledge set on pledge ship on. Sm Fuck, not on Smite, Star Citizen. That's the game. Yeah, that is it. Um, and within two more days went by, I bought a pirate skin and another ship, and I'm just so fucking in on that game. Over the past week, I have fucking trolled every message board, subreddit, and every other bullshit I could find to dig up information on this fucking game, which is already ruining my life when it's at least a year and a half away from actually being from release. So, um, you two are vaguely familiar with it, so just fucking... Ask me. I'm, I'm not at all familiar with it. I all I know is that it takes place what? in space, and there's spaceships, and spaceships, and and that's space it. Pirates. That's all I know about that game. <laughs> Tim, what's better, Star Trek or Star Wars? I only really like the first um, Star Wars movie. Honestly, I love the first Star Wars movie. The other ones, I didn't. I don't dislike them, but I'd probably have to say Star Trek. I mean, Picard, dude. And Riker just being a fucking pussy hound. Like, how do you not love that guy? It's fucking Data, right, which is just mighty incarnate. Is, this is, you brought this upon me. So you are, you are in the Star Trek camp. No, I'm not. Oh, well. Okay. I'm, in, I'm, in camp. I'm in the Firefly camp with fucking Captain Reynolds and fucking yeah. Spike Speed. Because space battles should be elegant naval battles, a la Star Trek. Not hey, bullshit dogfighting like in okay, Star Wars. That's, all right, that's that's a that's fair estimate. That's it. And this that's my question. Okay. Um. Right now, the only thing you can really play. No well, I'm turning this into a fucking answer. Right now, the only thing you can really play in Star Citizen is the dogfighting module, which is just a small percentage of the um game compared to when it's gonna be full released. This summer, they're releasing a different module, which will allow you to uh, fly around in giant multi-crew ships, which is something I'm really fucking looking forward to but uh right now star citizen is in a pre-alpha state it's very fucking pre-alpha shit's breaking and fucking bugging all the time right now it's just people who really want to play this game assholes like me willing to break the fucking game for the developers seeing to make sure that the persistent universe which is the bread and meat and potatoes of this game as palmer said earlier um will be launching all right star citizen is basically just a giant fucking it's its own world, its own universe in space, much like a um, MMO, like World of Warcraft, or EVE Online, I guess would be a better comparison. But basically, there's just, you can, when the game, when the Persistent Universe launches, you'll be able to jump out in this giant universe, you can explore shit, you can be a pirate and fucking do piratey things, you can be a smuggler, which is I'm going to be doing, I just want to relive Firefly, you know, don't take that away from me. Basically, 
Firefly Cowboy. What's the Shop. extent? What what's the extent though? Like I like That's I hear thing. This is what all... I I don't want to say theory crafting because the Persistent Universe <sighs> does exist in that. It's it's public alpha is going to be releasing supposedly later this year, but it does exist already. There's just a select number of few people that are in it because they're still fucking. You have to keep in mind this game was started from the ground up like two years ago, so it's everything right. still very fucking pre-alpha. But I have, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is like what. It, it, let's 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 talk strictly about the smuggling aspect for a second. I can do that. All Are day. there going to be resources that you can smuggle? Yeah, there's going to be. You know, you can take fucking fuel from one place to another if you want. There's going to be illegal cargo like drugs and contraband. But Mine where is, is this just random? Is it randomly generated it, or is it like owned by somebody like in that the shit's game? That's all out on the table. That's still still all kind of because if, it, if it, what they want to do is they want to make it a user like a user created universe like Eve Online basically. Yeah, where, that's what I'm saying. Like if it goes like if it goes in the realm of Eve, but it's more focused where if it gives you the option to focus strictly on dogfighting and like being a part of like the low end like the like i guess like you know the 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 low tier crime center of all of that then then that game sounds really appealing to me but if it's just going to be like focused on economy like eve then i'm really i'm out <laughs> well, i mean obviously the economy is going to play a huge part in it but I, I don't really understand what you're getting at like you being a stupid little pirate and running around with your pirate friends is absolutely going to be a viable career path in this. Okay. In all this right. Game. All right. All right. All right. But yeah, like, probably, you, you're, you'd be able to join up with people and create fucking pirate fleets. And, I, like, but like what I, what I want to do, I guess what I want to do is be able to leave my craft like me. Or, or, all right. Like a, if I figuratively speaking, if I'm a smuggler, I want to be able to live a day in the life of a smuggler. Like I want to log into that game, get in my ship, Fly and meet somebody at a previously mentioned destination. Talk like face to face about like what we're gonna be smuggling. Heist it from somebody, and then figure out a way to get the fuck out, and then be able to sell their stuff on you know whatever auction house or whatever the fuck the the however the economy is gonna run for credits. Like if I can't do that like every step of it, then I'm just like you I don't can know. not only do all that shit. So you, you want can... a role playing server? Yeah, pretty yes, much. They're, they're, they're going to, they're, yeah, they're, going, they're going to be a big part of the game. Not only that, Palmer, can you do all that shit, but you can, like, when you go to get the shit you're smuggling, you can fucking dock into a station, go into a first-person shooter, fucking run and gun your way through it, grab the cargo, throw it on your ship, get in your ship, and then get out of said sector through dogfighting or through jump drive. The jump drives are going to be a thing. Like, it's... If this game actually gets made... I'm, I'm not going to be like, well, I'm not one of those guys that's like, oh, it's going to be the best game ever. But it's going to be fucking entertaining. The likes of which I have not fucking come in contact with since, like, Dota, which just fucking stole so much of my life and soul. But it's going to be a fucking great game. All that shit you just said you wanted to do, you can absolutely do. You'll be able to do that in the alpha of the Persistent Universe without question. Right yeah. now, it's just, there's just all this shit on the table. And they're like. It. Well, it's just right now, it's there's so much shit on the table that people are, like, the community's kind of like, well, where does this end? Like, where are the lines? Because clearly this isn't going to be, you know, this, that, like, you're not going to be able to do this, 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 and that. And devs are like, no, we're, we're incorporating this into the system. So right now it's just all kind of on the table what they're doing. Or what you can't, if you get into Star Citizen now, the only thing you can really do is the dogfighting. The first-person shooter module is coming in a month or two, but again, it's this is a pre-alpha I'm talking about. So when that comes out, it's going to be broke as fuck, and you're going to, you know, it's going to be frustrating if you want to play it right now, right off the bat. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, recommend but getting into fine. it right now unless you're, if you, to you or anyone watching, it, it's something that's really fun, but I wouldn't recommend getting into it unless you're ready to be, you know, fucking deal with persistent, like, delays and patches and just broken multiplayer, which has kind of been going on lately and shit like that. But it really, really does is shaping up to be quite a fucking game. But by, by the end of this year, they're looking to be in the persistent alpha, which isn't that unreasonable because they've only got a few major updates that they want to do before that rolls out. So I think within or by the, within this year, we'll have a pretty good idea of like the scopes and limits of this game because right now it's it seems fucking boundless. Honestly, and that's, I guess that's part of the problem for me is like. Everything that I've heard about that game has been straight theory, like right. you know, like and, and and like that's great. But I'm just at the point in my life where where I've been promised so many things by so many different game developers that to be let down time and time again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I'm expect I'm I'm really expecting this game to just not have half of the things that people were promised, but 
it, you know, even if it still manages to fit in half the things that were promised, yeah, that's even still if it, a huge half of that game. Shit, it'd be amazing, yeah. <laughs> I just like what I'm expecting is like borderline, like, like, like take take World of Warcraft and and throw space into it and and multiple worlds that you can explore, like rather than just exploring one giant world. You know? No, but it's this going to be so much like the, you'll be able to go out like there are they're marketing ships to people already that are designed as explorer vessels where literally you get a jump drive day one. You fucking pop out to some random point in the universe and you can discover jump points, which you can you be a fucking points. pioneer. Can you like yes, start you can, an, a, you can be fucking Christopher Columbus and go enslave aliens and do whatever the fuck you what want about DeSoto. Can I be DeSoto? You can't be DeSoto. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. What about uh, Francisco Pizarro? Oh my god! <laughs> but yes, exploring will be at a viable career path in Star Citizen. It's one of the more like, it's pretty much goes like fucking trader, pirate, like military explorer. Like exploring is one of the big things that they're really focusing on. Oh god, what's going to happen with the military? Is that all going to be player run too? Yeah, apparently it's, it's going to all... be ruined by the something awful forums. Yeah, right? like a uh, trolley uh, Eve. Uh, Eve clan. I will, I will be in that clan that ruins the game. I will happily ruin Star Citizen. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope they take. Joy. I hope. Oh, that's all I can say is like the developers of this game better be ready to roll with the punches. Like it, they, like I expect the Eve mentality from this. If if that's going to work, like I don't want them to pull some bullshit where they're like, "Well, this wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry, guys. Like we'll we'll reset the economy." I want them I, to yeah. be like, you know what? This entire fucking industry just went down into the shitter deal with it <laughs> like that's what i want to happen yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's what's gonna happen no that they've stated no. that's what's going to happen basically they, they do crap. it in, they do it in eve yeah they do it in eve it's they'll not do it in eve but if they want this make to make this game accessible to anyone you know no, so dude, you, you don't gotta be able not, to not like, want to play it we also have to keep in mind this is the first day I feel this like they're trying to build something that's going to be the next time sink for everybody. Like, Yeah, and the way it's going to work is there's going to be – it's not just going to be the Persistent Universe. Like right now they have uh, dogfighting co-op modes that's also going to be available. There's also releasing a game – fuck it, uh, Squadron 42 or System 40 – single-player game along with it. And what they've stated is that shit you do in the single-player game will earn you shit in the multiplayer game. I think the way that they're working it out is if you play through the single-player campaign, once you finish it, you'll unlock a shitty starter ship in – the persistent universe of Star Citizen. At least that's what I've been led to believe after fucking reading countless fucking forums and shit for the past week. Okay. All right. So that's that's basically how you get started in Star Citizen. Unless you're an asshole like me that has pledged and I've already... This time next week I'll have a ship with a jump drive and I'll be ready to go explore and fuck aliens. It'll be awesome. But... How, um, there's just so much shit. Are they going for a free-to-play model in this? No. They're doing the Guild Wars model. Basically, you buy it, you're in. And then... And then you just... No, buy because ships. then you have to buy insurance for your ship. Yeah, but you don't That's you don't like pay cash money. money for that. You pay in game currency for that, which you can right now get with cash money. But the they've stated that basically basically the way insurance is going to work in that game is if they don't want you like if you wander off and explore shit and just pirates get you, they want to have some type of something set up for that because the way the game universe is going to work, you can not in don't care. I want this, uh, permadeath. permadeath. <laughs> per, no, permade character permadeath is a thing too. Like they're still working and tweaking on that. Right now, the way it's supposedly set up is, uh, like if you're in a dogfight and you get blown out, you get blown up. Your body's just floating in space, and you have to have basically a space ambulance come and haul you to a hospital or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like there's still a whole lot of shit to be worked out in this game, but I mean, it just even for what it is right now, it's stupidly fun. But you really need a good rig to run this fucking game. Like it is not optimized, fucking at all. Whatsoever. Well, it's in, it's in pre-alpha. You wouldn't expect it to be. I know, but I'm just that's a fair warning to anyone that might be interested in it. You really need a fucking good rig. Like I have a halfway decent rig and I to get a steady frame rate, I can't even run it at high, which is fucking just weird to me, but whatever. But yeah, you really need a powerful rig for that. Mm. It's just a really it's a really cool concept. It's finally like in the past few months really it's starting to see a bit of life to it and like how it's going to work out. All these, all this theory, all this theory crafting is finally like being woven into the actual game, in the Persistent Universe. So, and it'll just be really interesting to see over the next few months how that goes about and how these new modules or new pre-alpha modes that are coming out are going to work out and how they're received and shit like that. Hmm. Hmm. But how yeah, are they going to handle flight for like people? Like for instance, say like you have a crew of people that work with you uh, as a pirate and they're all on the ship. 
uh, while one person's piloting, what are the, what are the, what's the rest of the team going to be doing? Uh, the one ship I was looking at getting the Drake. Um, it's a three-person ship. There's the pilot up front, and then right behind him is the co-pilot. He would be doing tracking and kind of just situational awareness and mm. scanning for materials, shit like that. Mm. And then there's a gunner seat in the back. Basically, okay. there's going to, there's going to be co. That's the thing. No one really is entirely sure. The, the devs have stated, but it's it's all kind of being tweaked and worked out. That pre-alpha, that uh, multi-crew ship type thing, mm -hmm. that's due out in the summer. That's what I'm really looking forward to next. Is that okay? Because uh, I'm planning on I'm probably going to drop a hundred bucks and get like a Firefly type ship just so we can run around and be pirates and do Captain Reynolds things because it will please me. <laughs> but yeah, basically, there's going to be gun turrets. There's going to be you know co-pilot chairs that have specific roles be it scanning for materials or enemy fighters or like fucking scanning the galaxy for fucking planets and shit like there's it's there's just so it would much be shit. pretty fun yeah. have you guys ever played a flight of the artemis or are you familiar with it's, it's, it's not like a song. it's like a um, it's a land game that you connect a bunch of laptops to and you all take the station at like a, on a on like a bridge a starship bridge mm -hmm. And someone's on ops, or excuse me, someone's on like science, or I guess observations. Mm. Someone's like the captain. Uh, someone's on like, weapons. Someone's on engineering. And you know, you, you just do a bunch of scenarios, and you know, you have to fucking uh, survive. You have to like be competent at what you do, and and it's pretty fun. Um, ben was watching. You should check it out. Hmm. Oh, whoop whoop. Yeah, that's the Artemis. So, sounds like it Once could get be pretty out incredible. Quick. Sounds like it could be a pretty incredible game if they if they manage to pull it off. I'm waiting. For and the, 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 uh, there's the fucking crowdfunding just can't stop, won't stop. I I uh, pledged and got into the game about a week ago when they just hit their 75 million mark, and about 18 hours ago they hit 76 million. So this game is still continue like it's it's easily going to hit 100 million inside of this year. Like. It's just so much money. I really hope they don't fuck up. Basically, yeah, that that's the other... I don't know if they can really fuck up. Well, that's the other thing that scares me. Is like I feel like I feel like that game is going to be so much to manage. Oh God, yeah. That that at some point they're going to have to realize they have to either charge a subscription fee or they're going to have to incorporate some sort of serious tiered payment to get constant influx of money from everybody. Because, I mean, like, just server management alone, if they're trying to do something with that kind of a scope, is going to be absolutely I think they're going to do the ludicrous. server the same way EVE does it, where it's basically just one giant global server, from what I read. Right, but EVE charges a subscription fee to, like, maintain all of that. Right. So, how are they going to do that with, like, the Guild Wars model? Because there's going to be a lot of, like, in-game bullshit cosmetic things people be clinging on over and you can't can you even like get out of your ship and eve because that's like a whole nother part of this universe is your it's first person yeah, you can, i think they've got like your your quarters they've got like a hangar i think you can yeah but i mean I, you can't really pod. like walk into a like spaceport and fucking interact with people and shit I like that i think you can i know you can walk around your like they added an update where you can walk around your ship and do shit like that but i'm still pretty sure there is no like fucking MMO aspect of walking around in your character in, like, a space station or something. Uh, well, that's the reason know, they canceled sure. the, the World of Darkness MMO, cause they could, so they could implement that into EVE. Well, clearly they failed at that, too. I but mean, no, it's just, I, know, it's just, I know EVE had that, like, uh, first-person shooter thing that they did for a while on PS3. Um, miserably. Did, did, I don't, is it still going? I, I, play, I played it for a good while, actually. Um... It took a re that game that game had a really high barrier like of entry, dude. Like that, you really had to like do some research on shit before you could. It wasn't an accessible game at all. Um, Eve, but it was interesting what they were doing with it. I mean, like like the the concept of like dropping ground units into an area that companies are holding, like that that's basically warring factions, and the 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 idea that the those battles influence what's going on in the actual like Eve online world is is interesting to me so i feel like they'd have to like they, they, there are just so many different elements like because i feel like especially on a military aspect if you're looking just just for players that want to get really involved with the military in this world like or in this universe rather like that alone would be a nightmare to manage because you're, de you're dealing with servers that are handling first person combat on the fucking planet and then you're dealing with servers that are flying 
people are, I don't know, there's got to be some sort of instanced thing here i i well, you also you also have to understand this is all in the cry 3 engine so there's not going to be i can't think of any reason there would be like there's not going to be thousands of ships battling one another like there are in eve just because it's the fucking cry engine and you're comp- any a nasa rig would fucking melt under that kind of pressure like I, I can't see an instance more with more than a but couple hundreds, of right? Like you'd expect hundreds from a game. Hun- that's supposed I maybe, to be this massive. maybe a couple hundred. I'm I'm thinking it's How more many, of the like, sector to sector thing because you have to, it's the cry engine, dude. Like yeah, I, no, I just no, no, no. I get I get that, but like here's the that 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 I guess that's where the barrier comes in. It's like I want them to define what that's gonna be because like in my head I'm thinking, all right, say you've got two people like 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 pretend it's like Eve for a second. You've got two people who are the heads of major corporations that are just just own like some ridiculous like 70 percent of the fucking universe's resources and they decide that one day they hate the fucking two heads of those companies hate each other and you know they've got some sort of private security or something that that decides to just sabotage the other company like space illuminati all the people that are employed by that better be able to get involved with a fight <laughs> like you know I, I don't know it's 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 right now with organization like there's just flat out organizations on like the forums and in the game that you can join mm-hmm. and it's anything from like joe's fucking emporium of fucking tea kettles to like i'm a politician i will be running this sector or i plan to do this join me and it's 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 it's, it's interesting to say the least but i don't know like like i said that's all being worked out right now and like the fucking tiny little alpha that the, pers- they're the pre-alpha the persistent universe has and then until the persistent universe alpha kicks off like a lot of this shit is still all up in the air yeah yeah right, yeah. Now, right now they're just I, working on getting the core gameplay i just like I, every time i like pause and think about it there's just more questions in my head like yeah, what about yeah. what about what about citizenship like what about what about like that's, that's what i've been doing for the past week just like well what about this well what about that and it just it's, <sighs> it's gotta wait gotta gotta wait man that's going to be so interesting, just managing the factions that are going to be constantly emerging in a world that big, or in a universe that big. Like, fuck. All that's done on, like, the forums in EVE, right? None of that is in-game? I have no idea. No I idea. don't know. Hmm. I'm, I'm sure some of it, ha- it, like, some of it has to take place in-game. Like, it has to. You can't The majority, just... all of this shit's going to take place... The next big module is um, first-person module. I've already stated it's coming out in a month or two. After that, they're doing what they're calling the planet side module, and it's basically the social module and how players will interact with each other and like take on jobs. I think mm-hmm. it's basically just a social module. After that, they're doing the uh, multi-crew ship module, and then after our, like these these next three modules are done, that is when they're doing the persistent universe alpha, which is slated to be at the end of this year. So tell tell me about the the flight in this game the the the, the you know the flying around in the spaceships. Fucking um, I, I popped on it with Nylock, a friend of ours, um, and we just fucking fucked around with it. He bought a joystick and like a fucking ninety dollar joystick and throttle for the game, and he's just awesome. fucking struggling. I'm over here on a mouse and keyboard, just precise fucking aiming and what amounts to a space SUV with guns and missiles. So don't get cocky, kid. Having not played a fucking space flight sim in uh, 20 years, it, it, first couple hours I was on it, I was fucking struggling. But after a couple mm. hours, you get you get the hang of it. Okay. And I think, honestly, a mouse and keyboard is going to be very accessible to people in this game. It's not something where you're going to have to have a joystick. Especially right now, with all these... Every time there's a big patch in the pre-alpha, basically your joystick fucking key bindings get fucking wiped. So every time that happens, Nylock's like st- spending an hour with his joystick remapping everything. So I really don't think this is going to be a very joystick-needed game, which is kind of disappointing to me because I was really looking forward to like, oh, fuck, I haven't thought about getting a joystick in 20 years. I love it. <laughs> and then I look into it and people are like, no, just use a mouse and keyboard. It's more accurate. You'll feel like a dick. And just like, All right. But also, you can't. they already have a uh, 360 controller aspect to it plug, or ready to go. So if you so desired, you could fly in a spaceship with a 360 controller, like Halo Reach all over again. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, Space Flight feels really good. It's really fucking cool. It's really annoying when you're a bit intoxicated and there's just a tiny little asteroid you didn't see and then it just goes through your fucking rocket injector and everything blows up and your space pirate ship is just drifting through space towards the planet. <laughs> that's that's me a couple of times. That would be right now, the, uh, kind of irritating. My, the most appealing thing to the game right this second to me is the co-op Vandal Swarm, which is basically you fight... 
18 waves of aliens that get persistently harder and elite units come in. It's just really fucking fun. Uh, and you can earn wreck in the game right now. The only system they have set up as of right now in this game is a currency called wreck, which mm -hmm. is basically the currency you use to rent parts. You can rent spaceships with it. You can rent, I can rent different guns to put on my different spaceships to see how they work out. Uh, but like the actual in-game like money that you would use to buy ships with and shit like isn't even implemented yet. Okay. I think they're doing that with the social module. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. We'll just have to pay attention to it because I guarantee you that game's gonna like there's gonna be multiple versions of all these modules. I guarantee it before before everything's finalized. Oh, like, ab yeah, absolutely. There's already been multiple versions of the uh, dogfighting module that they've had out. And I think they. You've had to reinstall. Yeah, I had to right? actually fucking delete Star Citizen from my computer and reinstall like a fucking 30 gig download or re-download 30 gigs and then reinstall it because they uh, they did a lot of under the hood like 64-bit uh, 64, uh, 64 engine stuff with uh, the last patch. So they basically just had a lot of dead files they didn't need so they wanted you to scrub it. But yeah, the game, like I said, the game's constantly getting updates and I will definitely obviously be keeping an eye on this for the foreseeable future and any time there is a worthy enough update of bringing to the show i will absolutely do it but it's, it's not something we're going to be talking about every you know every week but every time there's something big happens be it good or bad i will definitely bring it up to uh dark mushroom media and we will discuss and whatnot but yeah it's 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 just we gotta wait and see how things play out for the next few months honestly but yeah i'm with uh lol pants mcqual face sounds pretty fucking awesome i threw in the fucking I gave him a fucking. I feel like it adds more oomph to the statement. <laughs> I didn't give him a fucking. I gave him a statement. I could have I'm sorry, Law Pants. I love you, but not in that way. But uh, how long have we been? Yeah, I think we're. I think we're good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I mean, how many viewers do we have? Does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any input they want to? Oh, add? we got fucking Dan, and Law Pants McClawface. Law Pants, is there anything you would like us to cover before we hop off for the night? And I do want to take the time to point out we're not going to be live next Monday, um, but we will be live next Wednesday. And from henceforth, our schedule is to be... We're going to be doing the live cast that we're doing right now, or the type of thing that we're doing right now. We're going to be doing that Monday and Wednesday night, generally speaking. And then we might pop... Maybe all three of us will pop on and stream some random bullshit like Smite or fucking Insurgency or whatnot. Yeah, Jose's with the insurgency. <laughs> I knew I had to pick something Jose would play, otherwise he would just fucking sit there and smirk. Life in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess that does it for us tonight, boys. This has been the seventh episode. I'm wrong, Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing a bit of uh, cats. All right. Cats! Exclamation point. Oh, were there cats in my? There were probably some cats in my, oh, my yeah. webcam at some Palm, point. Palmer's a Reddit user, so obviously cats just wander in and out of his webcam from time to time. Yeah, and small dogs, and oh, probably nice. clothes Ridded. and boxes. It's all about cats. But uh, we're gonna be doing a bit of retooling when we come li come back live this week. We will have a new type of interface set up. Uh, yeah, and in. I think a few, three or four weeks, we're going to start bringing on other people to contribute to the conversation, just people we know and play games with here and there, see how that works out. But yeah, you've been uh, watching the Dark Mushroom Media cast. Like I said, this has been our seventh episode. My name is Tim. With me was Palmer and Jose. And we hope you all have a pleasant evening. Be sure to give us a follow, and we will see you next time. Oh, and we're, we, we are doing giveaways on Steam Gifts, and I think think we're doing a giveaway live on the cast next week so you know if you like them pre games be sure to give us a follow and check in next week definitely uh you can also follow all, we all stream individually uh you can follow us uh either on twitter uh at the names underneath you got at logan 703 at sturmsworth and at cad 007 those are also our twitch usernames uh go ahead and feel free to check out our stuff there uh and oh we'll... my twitch username is k-a-d-d underscore 007 I tried unsuccessfully to sign in like five seconds ago, at least a hundred times, forgetting. <laughs> <that. laughs> oh man! All right, well, yeah, there you go. That's one. That's one difference. Anyways, uh, that's it. See y'all next week.